And today, of course, is Friday, the 12th of November, 2021. And this is the summary that we have for the Center for COVID Situation Administration briefing that we have now every Monday, Wednesdays, and, and Friday. So this morning, we had the general CCSA meeting, which was chaired by the Prime Minister of, of Thailand. One very important issue that Dr. Tuisin mentioned just now was about the situation in the southern border provinces of Thailand. So hoping that the situation will, will get better there. Sarang so offers with the vaccination progress that we have for today. Yesterday, the tally that we have yesterday for the vaccination is 788,090 doses of vaccine. Increasing the accumulated number of vaccination total cumulative in Thailand to 83.3 million doses now. So that's a high number for a daily number and we have cumulative at 83.3 million doses. And you have on screen now the breakdown of the vaccination in terms of the first dose, the second dose and the third booster dose. There on the top right hand corner, 83.3 thousand, making the target of vaccination in Thailand going at a, quite well in a very good uh, pace just now, uh, up to date for now. So, so we, we hope that uh, we are seeing that it's possible that we will reach our target of vaccinating 100 million doses by the end of this month, which is actually earlier than the targeted date of the end of the year, 100 million doses. So hoping that, fingers crossed, that will be true. Moving on to the number of confirmed case and recoveries that we have, the general situation. New confirmed case we have, as you see on screen, 7,000, sorry, yes, 7,305. That's the new confirmed cases as compared to the new recoveries, which is 7,900 cases. So a little bit more of new recoveries than the new confirmed cases. We have active cases standing at 95,804 in the uh, top green box that you see on screen there. And we have recorded 51 new fatalities. The fatality rate remains at 1.00%. So there is a downward trend in general in Thailand, but despite this downward trend of the infection rate, we still remain vigilant. We have, still have concerns that there might be new clusters forming in local communities. I mentioned just now about the southern provinces. In local communities and in social gatherings, they also include religious ceremonies, katina or katin ceremonies, or in areas wherein there are a large concentration of people, for example, like workers' camps, or in events like funerals, or in areas like uh, fresh markets. So there are new cases that have actually been found in many provinces around the country connected to these types of places and activities that I mentioned. So therefore, it is strongly suggested that the public should remain vigilant and strictly follow guidelines so that the number of cases will decrease in due course. Now just a review of the op reopening measures as per the general CCSA meeting that concluded just, just now that we, was held this morning. So on rezoning of controlled areas, the general CCSA meeting approved the rezoning of provinces based on the current COVID situation. So effective from the 16th of November, next uh, Tuesday actually, the maximum and strict control areas or the dark red zone have been reduced from having seven provinces now to six provinces. And you can read the uh, names of the provinces on screen uh, there. Some in the southern border provinces and some in the central region. Uh, from seven to six provinces. So the province of Chantaburi is taken off and removed uh, to uh, lowered to the maximum control or red zone, not dark red anymore. And the red zone or maximum control is now, now stands at 39, 39 provinces and the rest remain the same. Another important issue is about curfew. Curfew from 2300 to 0300 hours in the dark red zone the dark red zone on top 
the uh, maximum and strict controlled areas. The curfew in that, those zone, that, that zone is extended uh, until the 30th of November, but it, it is subject to be reviewed. So it remains for the six provinces on top of the screen until the 30th of November, subject to review. Another important point is about entertainment venues and pubs and bars and karaoke's in Thailand remain closed until the 15th of January 2021. So this was, uh, these were the important points that the general CCSA meeting resolved this morning. Also regarding the RT-PCR and ATK test, there were some questions about that. International travelers are still required to, for the COVID-19 test, of course. One RT-PCR test and one ATK test if they have symptoms or, uh, or on day six and, and seven. And this uh, remains uh, so, no, no changes yet, no, no change. So it's, uh, these uh, instruments are still being used, RT-PCR and one ATK test until further studies are completed. So this is what the, came out from the CCSA meeting this morning. Just some um, little uh, information additional on innovation, might be of interest. On uh, Julalongkorn's alcohol-free disinfectant deactivates uh, uh, COVID in one minute research team from the Faculty of Medicine, Julalongkorn University. They have discovered an innovative alcohol-free solution that can deactivate SARS-CoV-2 virus at low cost. The solution is particularly suitable for children and the elderly with sensitive skin since it does not contain alcohol. And for those who are allergic to alcohol, to alcohol gel, uh, they can also use it. And according to the test results, it was found that the disinfectant can deactivate COVID with all kinds of mutations in only a minute. In addition, it was selected as a healthy innovative product, healthy innovative product at the Thailand Research Expo 2021 and has been registered with national patent. So just before closing, there was an inquiry on uh, social media online. We look at that all the time, look at those, uh, the inboxes all the time. An inquiry from a, uh, a foreign friend. But if the vaccination uh, regulations for children under 18 years of age, if it uh, required only one dose, then the children are considered fully vaccinated. So in some countries, there are vaccines which, some brands which require only one dose, the dose, right? Not two, two doses. So for children under 18 years of age, if they come from a country which uh, had inoculated one dose as required, um, are the children considered fully vaccinated when, when arriving in Thailand? So the answer is yes. Uh, please prepare the documents indicating that the, these children uh, in your country are required only one dose of vaccine in whatever brand, uh, Johnson and Johnson, and to present to authorities if uh, upon, upon request. Of course, we don't have that yet, yet in Thailand, but in some countries we have that, and we recognize that in terms of the uh, documentation and evidence to be used for Thailand to pass. So this, with that note, uh, I thank you for your kind attention. This is all the information I have for you today. And uh, I hope that uh, all of you will have a very nice weekend and we'll see you again on Monday. Sawadee